Welcome back to ERA TV, where we hear some great ideas from the movers and shakers in the direct response business. I'm Craig Burnett here with Bruce Stone. Bruce, welcome. Thank you. It's a so, pleasure to be here. Thanks for coming. You're with Applied Perceptions. Right. Tell us what that is and what you do. Well, we're a call center based in Southern California. We're 100% U.S.-based uh, call center. Uh, we handle a lot of uh, the larger companies in the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, we handle calls both in English and Spanish, but again, all in the United States. And uh, we are very much interested in serving the customers well. Uh, direct response has been such a big, growing industry that there's a lot of opportunity. And even with internet ordering and everything else, when people have a question, they want to be able to talk to a live person. Sure, I was going to ask you about that with the preponderance and popularity of online, and, and indeed some people saying, well, I don't need television, I'm just gonna do it all online, and then the ordering is easy, I don't have to pay a call center. What are the benefits of still going with a call center and having that system available to them? Well, you know, it's interesting. One of the things when you use a live call center is you have somebody who can really ex explain the product in detail. Certainly, in, the internet is growing, and especially with the younger population, they seem to really enjoy buying things over the internet, but one of the advantages that you have is when you talk to a person live, they can ask any question they want. You can't just give the basics and most of our agents we try and train them so they use the product, they know how the product works, the benefits of it. If there's anything that may not work well for them too, we want to explain it because we want happy customers and we want to serve our clients well. It is so important for the agents to be properly trained Absolutely. because I remember doing commercials back in the mid 80s where we, we knew we had a slam dunk product and it went to the call center and everything fell flat and they end up you know, having a warehouse full of this stuff somewhere in New Jersey or something because the call center didn't help. So that's there's a lot of training involved in that, isn't a, there? A lot of training. Typically we do great recruiting with our agents. We actually have them call in for an interview first oh, to wow. see how we sound. Then when they come in, we'll give them a calculator and say, hey, explain to us the features of this calculator because you want people that are very fluent and friendly and it's very important that you develop warmth in a relationship with the person and then you go through the features with them and the one goal you have to realize that you're representing the company that hired you so if we're hired by a large national company we know that when we pick up the phone we're that company right so if we don't do a good job we're not making them look good and so now, all of your call centers are based your call center is based here in the US yeah. why is that really important do you think well, you know, there's, there's call centers all over the world now, and we're very much in a global economy. But it's very important that people can speak with somebody, even dialect matters. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's expressions of the way people say things, and they want to be able to understand, and they want to know that there's somebody right there that can help you in this country that understands you. And they're very concerned today about credit card data. You know, oh, there's yeah. a lot of problems in the world with securing data, so you want a call center that is compliant to make sure they secure the data, that everything's encrypted. You don't want to trust your names, your numbers being stolen overseas. Sure. So I believe it's important to use a local call center. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a marketer, I'm on the fence about making that call to Applied Perceptions. What's your What's your selling, your chief selling point that you would say to somebody looking for a call center? Okay, well the big thing with us, especially we do inbound ordering, but also customer service, and it's important to save your customers. Marketers spend an absolute fortune acquiring new customers. Advertising on television is expensive, magazines, even websites are expensive. Mm -hmm. So when somebody calls in, you want somebody who can really represent your product, sell your product, talk about your product, know the benefits and the features of your product. And continue the continue sale. the sale right. in the future and then if they have a problem and they call back if they want to return it you can help them understand most of the time it's not because they don't like the product maybe they don't know how to use the product properly and if you can explain it it helps them keep the product in their hands keep the customer happy keep the expense of a return product and a charge back down to nothing and, it, it, yeah. exactly because it's a fortune for companies to make a sale and then have to have the product returned and most of the companies we have very good companies in this country mm -hmm. and the clients that we have all top-notch companies and most of the companies that belong to associations like the Electronic Retailing Association they want to do a great job sure. and serve their customers well so that's what we try and help them do. That's good and then very briefly if I'm on the fence about joining ERA 
why is it a good idea to become a member? Because think? I think the ERA, for one thing, one of the major things is they're a self-policing organization. There's many marketers. If you look at the Better Business Bureau, the Federal Trade Commission, there's a lot of mail order companies that there's complaints about, but they're mostly the guy who operates out of his garage who sells a hundred orders. Right. The big companies self-police. ERA does a great job representing people with the government. You know, they're very active in governmental affairs and postal regulations and shipping regulations and fair advertising. There's a code of conduct they want their members to stand up to. So it's really important, I think, to belong to a positive association like this where everybody has a common goal of, provo pro uh, of putting together the best welfare for the business and presenting us in the best light. That's terrific. And elevate the whole industry. The whole industry in so to a doing. higher standard. Right. They set the benchmark, I think, that makes the industry look a lot better. Yeah, very good. Bruce, thanks very much for your time My today. My pleasure. Thanks really for talking to me. And thank, thank you. you for watching ERA TV. I'm Craig Burnett. We'll see you next time.